Andrew, you and I talked here a few months ago about this new house. Tell me what you're doing, what are you building, and how's it going? We are building a single family home with a detached garage. It's 3,400 square feet. I think last time we talked, we were in the framing phase. And as you can see, we've gotten drywall up and on the finishing touches, we've got flooring in, putting a deck on the roof. And so we're hoping to be done here in the next month and a half, hopefully. It's looking beautiful. So you're using the Home Rights Owner Builder Program, correct? That's correct. Tell me how that works. Well, my specific consultant, Jesse York, me and him met at the beginning and built a budget found the land and kind of went through the process together at the beginning to make sure it was feasible. And then once we decided that it was in the budget and we could make it work, he took us through each step at a time as we went through the phases of building this house. So he's there to coach you and guide you and keep you out of trouble and on track? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So they keep us, especially with the city, they make sure we're doing everything to the book, that we're not cutting any corners and we're gonna make the city happy and also me happy while building this house. Because you don't have a license to be a general contractor, correct? That's correct. You didn't need one. So uh, the owner builder process is kind of a hybrid. So Jesse is my contractor. We use his GC license, but he allows me to do most of the coaching and working with the general, or sorry, with the subcontractors to help this process work and hopefully save a few dollars. So he's behind the scenes, but you are the general co contractor for all intents and purposes. That's correct. You're hiring and, and or firing those subcontractors, <laughs> right? It's all your work. Hopefully hiring most of the time, yeah. but yes, that's how it works. And tell me about the quality of the subcontractors and how that part's going and how did you find them? Yes, yeah, so um, Home Rights gives us their preferred subcontractors and we have the choice to either use their preferred and trusted subcontractors or go outside their network. And how do you feel about the quality of what you've had so far on subs? I feel like it's been very good quality so far. Yeah. We haven't run into any, any issues or had to fire any contractors, so we're on track. Yay. Have you ever acted as a contractor or done any major construction before? Um, not any major construction this big. I've done small house projects before, but nothing to this scale. So what advice would you have for somebody who's thinking about being their own contractor with the owner builder program? I think it's a, a great process to save money. Uh, I just say come in prepared, be willing to put a good 10 to 20 hours a week, whether it be paperwork, making phone calls, coordinating with all your subcontractors and with home rights to stay on track. And I think you have a, a good formula to build a great home at a great price. Yeah. So in a place like this, what can a person save? Because that's always the first thing people want to know. What's, what's going to be the be financial benefit of this great program? For, for me, I'm saving about $150,000 going through the owner builder process. Wow, so that's like instant equity. It is, instant equity, or you can say a, a second job. Our second job, <laughs> yeah. Or it means you can upgrade a lot of features if you wanted to, right? That's true. Yeah, either way. You can use the savings however you like. So if somebody's thinking about acting as their own contractor with the owner builder program, what do you think the personality traits are of that person need to be to be successful? I would say you, you definitely have to have self-motivation to stay on track. Um, it's easy to procrastinate and get behind on things and you can let things pile up and it can get, it can get stressful. But if you make the time and put that time aside every week to stay on top of things, I think you can be successful very easily. Yeah. So now we know Home Rights also has a turnkey program where they will do everything for you like a typical contractor start to finish. Why did you not do that? I did it personally to save the extra money and be able to build a, a nicer home for myself and my family. Because you, know, you know exactly what you're getting. Exactly, I've, I've picked every piece of this house out and, and had it installed and I could show you back and forth of this house, and that's what I like. I, I like knowing every square inch of my house. Some people will say you're a control freak. Eh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I'm just throwing that in. It, but it's funny, because a lot of people I talk to do actually say that. Say, I'm kind of a control freak. I want to know what's behind that wall. Yeah. Well, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. I'll cut that out. <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> All right, so bottom line, summarize for me. How does the Owner Builder Program work for somebody who's never heard of this before? The Owner Builder Program works. It starts off with an easy consultation with the Home Rights crew. Um, they'll assign you a consultant and you can 
get started, they'll give you an idea of what this process will take. And then if you're excited about it and think it'll work for you, you can sign a contract with Home Rights and you can move forward with them and build the house that's just right for you. How does Home Rights get paid to be your coach and guide along this process? You, you do pay Home Rights a smaller fee, um, but it is much less than the turnkey process. Yeah, but it's kind of like a flat rate. You, you have a, a rate based on your square footage, right? That's correct. So you come for the free consultation, you decide what kind of house you're going to build, you get it started with uh, a uh, planner or a designer, and then once you have the square footage of your house, they base it off of the square footage and do a small percentage of that. So it's not changing all the time. If you change the size of this room or add different doors, they don't nope. charge anything different. It's flat rate. No worries about changes. That's correct. Yeah. So if you change it, if you want it to be more expensive or less expensive, that's up to you. Correct.